Well, hello, everybody. This is Brad with BGS. I'm a revenue optimization expert with BGS. Uh, and also, I work with, uh, I'm one of the instructors with e-commerce business blueprint and also a coach with that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about where you can find uh, some awesome, amazing graphic designers at places where your competitors probably are not looking. So typically when someone's looking for a graphic designer, where do you think they're going to look first? Like not you, but just everyone else. Well, most likely they're going to look at places like Fiverr and Upwork. Those are probably the two, the two big ones. And Fiverr is just totally populated with um, people that uh, basically use clip art, right? So they're going to be pretty cheap designs. That's where you have like your 10 and $15 designs. And they're not going to be able to actually hand draw anything. It's all going to be clip art. And usually it's pretty cheap. And then the, the better ones, and you can find good designers on Fiverr, but it can be uh, a search for it. And uh, typically the, the better ones are gonna be a lot more expensive. But I'm gonna show you two places where you can find some really good designers. And uh, these are places where your competitors probably are not looking. And uh, you can find some amazing artists here. So the first site I am going to go to is scad.edu. And scad is the Savannah College of Art and Design. And they've got four campuses around the world. World. They've got one in Savannah, Georgia, one in Atlanta, Georgia, a campus in uh, Hong Kong, and another one in France. And this is kind of like the um, kind of like the Harvard of art schools. This is an amazing school. It's a private college, so it's very expensive. So there's a good chance that you're going to have students there that could probably use the money right? Because it's, it's not a cheap school. And even if you have, like in Georgia, you have what's called the Hope Scholarship. It just covers a very tiny fraction of that. So this is Savannah College of Art and Design, SCAD for short. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the footer. And again, this, it doesn't have to be SCAD. This could be like a, another art school or even uh, your community college. But I'm going to mention SCAD because these are going to be like top tier artists here. Uh, that you can find and communicate with. So we're going to go down to the footer. And I'm going to go down to the right, lower right, where it says connect. And I'm going to click student portfolios. Okay, they do have uh, art sales and things like that. You're going to see some art that's like very expensive. And a lot of those are from alumni. So we don't want that. We want to see what the students are doing. So we're going to click student portfolios. Okay, so this is kind of the home page uh, for the portfolios. And if you look on the left, you have filtering options. And under status, I would make sure that you're looking at undergrad students because if you go to graduate students and especially alumni, alumni and faculty, uh, these are gonna be like professionals. And the one thing with SCAD is after you graduate, uh, they've got like the highest rate of employment after graduation, the most Ivy League schools like historically it's like around like 97 98 percent it's just like insanely high so um those people uh, are going to be professionals and they're probably not going to be cheap so we want to find our undergrads okay and then you just scroll down and you can see all kinds this can be everything from like it could be paintings or sketch sketches animation uh, digital uh, photography and again you can really narrow it down. You can look at the different creative fields, animation, okay? A little bit of everything. So let's go, if you click on it, you'll get a enlarged um, version of it so you can check it out. Okay, so just looking this first person looks really cool. I'm really digging that art right there. And then um, if I click follow on Behance, Click that, okay, and then I'll see a uh, 
other work that the artist did. So you can look at it and, and see if um, this person might be a good fit. So you just scroll down, you kind of look. And if you look over here on the left, you can follow the artist, but you have message. And this is where you can instant message. Now, the one difference between using uh, a site like this and somewhere like Fiverr is that the Fiverr people, that's, you know, they do that all day long. You know, they may be backlogged. They may have like 10 or 15 designs or even more that they're doing that day. And that's like all they do. Um, with these artists that aren't in that profession where they don't really even know, they may not even know what Shopify is, right? Or if you say POD, they'll be like, like what? So um, you just really need to communicate with them very clearly what you need, what you're looking to do. And just be clear with them, uh, especially like file sizes and the file format that you need. Um, just be very clear with that. And, and that's really the only thing that you really have to kind of narrow down with them. So they have a clear understanding of what you're looking for. So with a lot of these, you can, um, if you see like art that you like, you may ask them, hey, would you like to do uh, maybe some kind of a revenue share or commission or something? If I can use that art, uh, they may license it out to you. Or uh, that most of these, or a lot of these people would be willing to do uh, commissions, which a commission would be kind of like what you would get the Fiverr people to do. Okay, but uh, that's how you communicate. You just click on message right there and just, you know, look around, find someone you, someone you like. And the worst thing, if you message them and they say no, you know, it's a no. You go to the next one. But you're not going to get a yes if you never ask, right? Okay, so that is SCAD. Um, again, just amazing uh, artist or on SCAD. The other site I'm going to recommend is DeviantArt. Okay, DeviantArt started like years ago. I remember uh, probably like 10 or 12 years ago when I first heard about it. And it started out as like a real niche website where it's mostly like horror and science fiction and fantasy and anime and things like that. But now it's grown so big that I believe it's the, the largest uh, community of artists online anywhere. So it's just a massive uh, community and um, just all kinds of niches are available in here. Okay. Now it is more, you know, it, it started out more like kind of sci-fi and kind of weird and everything. And, and that's okay. And you're going to see a lot of that, but you're going to see a lot of other stuff too. But these are some just amazing artists on here. I've, I've found, found some that have been just incredible. And this is a good resource. And a lot of these people may have never even been approached by anyone before about doing shirts and things like that. So you go to the home page, you can kind of, it's got some featured stuff here. We've got different topics you can explore. Um, it's going to have some other kind of categories, just like on a website. Here's some wallpapers. Um, okay, more art and everything. Just keep scrolling down. Now, um, it is, it can be adult themed too. So when you log in, I think, you know, um, that's when you might see nudity and things like that. So if you're easily offended, you, this may not be the site for you, but just be aware you may see some um, kind of scandalous things, right? Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to do a search. And let's say uh, you have a certain niche that you're looking for, and I'm going to search for it. Let's say I'm in this sail sailing niche. So just search. Okay. So it's going to pull up what the art that it shows. They're called deviations. So it found 101,000 different pieces of art here. And again, just like with SCAD, this can be almost anything. It can be paintings and sketches and animation and, and photography. And th this is a place to find photographers, too. If you need lifestyle shots, you, you may, be able, may, may be able to find a very professional photographer here that will do it for you. Um, and just... Uh, graphics on your website if you're looking for infographics and things like that. You know, it's just a really good resource. Okay, so here's my deviations here. If I go down a little bit more, a little further, I've got different groups and you can check out these different groups. You've got Side Arrow, you know, Sailing Starscape. So that's like a sci fi spin on sailing, Sailing Nightmares. Okay, just all kinds of stuff here. 
go down further, you have different artists that kind of fit in with that um, keyword that you searched for, different collections that you can go through and you can just kind of see anything that looks cool to you. Okay, and then below that you have more sailing art. So you can just look and see anything that might, that, that you really like. Or like an artist that you can say, hey, this artist with this style can do just a, an amazing design. And it doesn't have to be shirts with POD. Remember, it can be almost like anything with POD nowadays. Um, so it could even be like like really cool patterns. Maybe you're, you're doing like uh, boots or something like that. Uh, swimwear, right? That would be more of a pattern than like a design. Okay, so you just keep keep scrolling, just find something that you like right here. Let's say I really like this one. This is going to really fit in, you know, with, with my niche. And one other thing about this too is that these people are already doing art for the niche that uh, you're using. So if you get a fiber and it's a clip art guy, or even someone that that's a better artist on Fiverr and, you, and you're in the sailing niche, it may be someone that's never even been to a beach. Now, who's going to produce the better art? Who is more likely to? The guy that has never seen a beach before? Or the, the one that's already doing art in that niche and is very passionate about it? Okay, so I'm going to click this one. All right, so um, looking here, you can see little thumbnails of other art from the same artist. Go down a little further. Um, you just have more information and you have the person that produced the art. This one is Julie Dillon. And if I click the artist's name, it takes me to their page on DeviantArt. Okay, so you can go down and you can see other art that this artist does. Right, you can kind of click you can see featured galleries. Uh, you, you have some artist information. Sometimes I'll have like a pretty good biography or sometimes it'll just be very short. I get this one, they have their website. They may have additional contact inf information on their website. You can see they're in the US, um, you know, where they live, different posts that they've made. Okay, this one's actually doing a Kickstarter project for a book. Okay, but, but uh, if you want to contact that person, you click here to send note, and with DeviantArt, I believe you have to register. Yep. So you would either log in or register for there, and then you can just message that person and then ask them. Now, the artist I found was, was they had a really cool design, and really I asked her like what um, what would work for her, and uh, she was willing to license me the piece of art that I really liked. And she said, uh, like a one-year license for a hundred dollars. And with what I was selling, really, just if I sold two within the year, that's break even for that. So for me, it was a no-brainer. Again, these are artists; they're not business people. So it was really just almost like a handshake type deal. It, of course, I didn't shake their hand, but um, it was just a verbal agreement. So don't take advantage of anyone for sure. But I'm just saying that uh, a lot of these people will be flexible. Uh, she had never, she is a, such an amazing artist and has never been approached by anyone about that before. So you'll, you'll probably encounter that. I'm sure a lot of them will just be thrilled to get paid for their art. Okay. So again, again that is deviantart.com and scad.edu are two sites where you can find some really amazing artists. And these are places where your competitors probably are not looking. That's where you can elevate the designs. And when you have an elevated design, an elevated product, um, you have higher perceived value and can probably sell it more um, or sell it at a higher price than what your competitors will sell it at. So anyway, I'm Brad with BGS. And if you like this video and if you would like to build, grow, or scale your business, uh, just click on www workwithbgs.com and we will help you build, grow, and scale. We will, uh, I'll see you later.